Hi, welcome back. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm gonna to make a porn star martini. So at first, it was originally known as the Maverick Martini, and then the original creator changed it to the Porn Star Martini, just because he thought the drink was like, provocative, fun, and sexy. I quote. Um, so this particular one, I have to laugh because it's been on my list for absolutely ages. I've only ever had it once before when I lived in the UK about 10 plus years ago, and I'd been waiting to get a bottle of Pessoa, uh, for those who don't know, which is a passion fruit liqueur. Um, I've been waiting ages to be able to get it. I have finally bought it and then I've looked up a few recipes and discovered that this recipe doesn't actually contain Persoa, passion fruit liqueur. So cast that aside and I'm gonna return it because I'm not gonna use it for anything else. Anyways, so for this particular drink, a lot of the recipes call for a vanilla vodka, but I personally, not that I've made it a lot of times, I'd prefer to make it with a straight vodka and then use a vanilla syrup. The reason being is you're gonna get a better flavor from the vanilla syrup rather than kind of like a, a fake vanilla taste in the vodka. So whatever you choose, vanilla vodka or a straight vodka, double shot, sorry, 60 mils, two ounces. Now the next two ingredients, the uh, actual uh, portion sizes that you're gonna use depends on, on the sweetness. So this is actually a tinned passion fruit in a syrup, so it's already going to be sweet. So I'm gonna lower it a little bit down to 22.5 mils or three quarters of an ounce. So if you're using fresh passion fruit, obviously it's probably gonna be a little bit more tart, not as sweet as something like that that's gonna be in a syrup. And then follow that with a vanilla syrup and same thing, I'm gonna keep that at 22.5 mils or three quarter ounce. So once I finish the drink, I'll obviously give it a taste and then work out how those proportions have worked out in the drink. And then fresh lime juice, 15 mils, half an ounce. Then fill your cocktail shake with ice and give it a good shake. So make sure you've got your glass chilling. And the garnish is actually a, a spent passion fruit. So uh, the small coupes that I usually use probably aren't gonna work. This is a massive passion fruit and it's gonna displace a lot of liquid. So uh, a glass with a bit bigger volume. I don't usually double strain, uh, but in this particular cocktail, you definitely don't want to because you want some of those uh, passion fruit seeds within the drink. So strain into your chilled glass. drop in your passion fruit. I can actually see little bits of vanilla bean uh, within the drink, so this looks like it's gonna be really tasty. And you serve it with a side of Prosecco. Couldn't really find too much information about why the Prosecco and how you meant to drink the drink, if you're just meant to have both at the same time. Uh, one, one recipe did suggest that you were meant to have the Prosecco first with the passion fruit, but anyhow. They have a porn star martini. Cheers. That's quite well balanced. Uh, I'm definitely glad I, I dropped down the, the passion fruit syrup and the vanilla syrup. Those ratios work quite well. Very tart, citrusy. Uh, the vanilla bean's pretty subtle, so I'd probably adjust my syrup. And that's Prosecco. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.